Hey everyone, this is Scotty Wick. I'm going to try a different route of recording here, have video. I actually have to do this at home because um, otherwise I don't have a microphone. Um, and understandable if you have this strong urge to just punch my face right now. It's totally understandable. Um, I won't hold that against you. Um, but let's talk about some orbital pain. So I've been getting a lot of requests to go through the pinup, how that works, um, what you guys need to be doing, how to play videos, like with what all that actually means. And it is all coded in there, um, so it's a really good start for you guys. Um, and I'm just going to take this from scratch here, going with um, going with downloading it, how to get it fired up, the rest of that stuff. I won't go into how to install pinup system if you don't have that there. There's a whole mess of videos. Uh, Terry's done way too many videos. So if you can't figure that out, maybe you shouldn't try uh, creating your own table. Uh, but to that first, if you don't have pinup working already, then uh, make sure you get that done first. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the framework. That'll take you, I believe, to uh, Dropbox, or I mean uh, Google Drive. We'll get that downloaded. It does not contain viruses, don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. Um, I'm just gonna make a fresh folder even though I already have one, just so that we can. Uh, we're just gonna do, call this orbital test. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that bad boy in there, get that downloaded. It shouldn't take long, I think it's only 100 meg. And um, so what we're gonna do first is we need to, um, we need to get this ready to go, which is putting, um, we just put its media folder over into uh, the pinup system pup videos, uh, because that's where we're going to house all our media. Um, and uh, you can keep a local copy, I usually do, keep one copy in my working folder and then one copy um, in pinup system. And that's just so that if, say, you share this with other people to test it and whatnot, that uh, they have the ability to get those files. All right, so I'm gonna extract this. Um, and you'll see here we have our orbital VPX. Uh, then we have this orbital uh, folder here, the ultra DMD and templates. Um, so this orbital folder, if you open it, you'll see it has our pup folders in it. This needs to go into our pup videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this and jump over to, for me, it's on um, my C drive here, pinup system, pup videos. It's actually already in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to that orbital test folder I had and go ahead and spin this up. And, uh, you know, if we did that correctly and our pinup is working correctly, then we're gonna go ahead and get that test table going. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. Bear with my VPX, it's a little slow this morning. It has not had its coffee. All right, so we have the Ultra DMD still on, even though I'm over it. Um, I accidentally launched this in full screen mode. So let me jump out and not do that. We saw our pin uploading there. Because um, that makes it really difficult for me to show this off if it's in full screen. Okay. Launching again. Okay, so we see we got our background there loaded. We've got our pin up on there. I have it currently really large because I was doing a screencast, um, which is kind of obnoxious. Um, but what we have, let's see, we have text overlays, we have um, all that good stuff. So, neat. Right. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, let's start from the get go. If you open up the script, um, I tried to label this as well as possible, um, but there's obviously stuff scattered about based on um, based on where we're we're doing 
different aspects of this. So right at the top, you're going to see the framework options. So here you have the game name, table name. This is what's going to dictate what we need to name that folder. So it's currently called Orbital. And you can leave it that way, but I probably wouldn't because if there are other people doing orbital tables, then which there are, um, then you can't have two orbital folders uh, in your in your pop. So I changed the name of this to whatever your game name is, and then you can see we have type font, number font, zoom font, zoom background font. These are the different fonts that we are currently using in Pinup. So. If you go to our folder, we have this fonts folder. They do need to be true type fonts. Um, and so a thing, a thing of note, first you'll see like, wait, this is railway-medium.ttf, but you just have railway space medium. All right, so what it needs to be is the actual name. If we pop this open, you'll see here at the top, font name, railway space medium. Those two have to match um, when you're putting it in there. Uh, we have the Bebas new. Um, and again, you see that there. I've incorporated in this free fonts, so feel free to stick with these if you like them. Um, but you can obviously put all your, your own ones in there. Um, and you can see here we have an outline font and a non-outline font. The reason for that is that makes it so that when that text zooms up, that it will stand off whatever item um, so that's the font that's going over the top of your video screen. And so I've done it with a, so if we see this when I start it, it says like ball one. See how it has a black border around the ball one launch ball. Um, that's pretty helpful uh, to make sure that you don't pop up some text and then you can't read it because it's the same color as your background. Um, so the, so that's why we have this 3D uh, font and then the font with the same uh, structure but with a background uh, I mean a sh drop shadow so that's how we're doing drop shadows there will probably be a better way to do this in the future but for now that's what we're doing um, all right so you can define your fonts there we will then use these constructions later um, just to make our lives easier so we don't have to continue to type that in every time all right so the rest of this is going to be base stuff and we are going to go down to where our pinup starts so we have ultra dmd is right there but we're not really going to go into that pinup active backlash you see this we're starting on line 1226 well for the title there and at the start here we just have some config which you won't really have to worry about this is all um this is all the names. So actually, you know what, let's, let's jump into it. So what we're going to do here, uh, the constructions that we're doing here is we're defining which um, channels of pinup we are going to use and what we call them. Um, so P music is not necessarily called P music um, in the pinup system. Uh, that's just a layer seven uh, or a layer four for P music and a layer seven for P audio. Um, but we're using it, we're using four, seven, and eight for those channels because they're not used and they're hidden um, in most everyone's pinup settings. So that makes it so that we can do um, fun stuff with it. So we have P topper, um, which is turned off. I don't have a topper running on this. You can add one. Um, that's up at the top of the settings. Uh, and we, I'll show you later where we get into that. Um, DMD is one. We're not going to use DMD, but we could if we wanted to. Uh, you can code a full DMD in pinup. Uh, so we have back glass, play field, and we're not really going to use play field at this point. Um, we have P music, right? So let's talk about why there is P music, P audio, and P callouts. You might be thinking to yourself, like, uh, I mean, I don't need why can't I just have P audio and be done with it? Um, which would be, which is where I started and would be a good, good question. Um, so the thing is, is we're going to be playing all of these uh, at some time. So let's think if we had P music, let's say we had our background music going and a call out happens. Obviously those are two channels. We don't want to have to stop our music 
to play a call out. We need to be able to let that music continue playing so that we can remember where it's at um, because you don't want to restart a song every time. That would be obnoxious. Um, and so that's a separate one. The P audio is going to be, say we wanted to do some type of uh, sound effects. So we had uh, our we had our song running, and obviously you can do sound effects in um, VPX as it is by just loading it into your audio, but we might want to do something that's an MP3, which you can't load those into VPX, uh, and we can do that over here in Orbital, um, in Pinup, I mean. Um, but so yeah, so you might want to do maybe an extended call, uh, an extended audio clip that might be way too big as a wave. So you've got your music running, you've got an audio sound going over the top of it. Maybe it's you hit it into an area and it's a forest and there's crickets going. Uh, so you've got this long cricket spooky audio and then you have a call out on top of that. So with three layers we can easily uh, accommodate that and we can even adjust our level so we can say turn down the volume of the music, turn up this uh, this audio sound effect, turn up even higher the call out and additionally that gives us the ability to up here at the top um, that gives us the ability to if we wanted to allow people to change the audio of each of those channels you can always grab my strange things stranger edition file uh, it has the audio adjustments in there if that's a thing that you wanted to add all right so let's jump back in <clears throat> Um, so what this does here is this registers it. C game name is what we did at the top where it was orbital. I said you might want to change it. So this is just um, recognizing those things that we are going to be using. Backlash, music, audio, callouts. And then if topper video is one, which is the setting at the top, then we register the topper. So while we have all these constructions here, we're really only using these, um, you know, these four uh, and topper kind of if you want it. All right, so I try to, in a lot of this, put in some of what the syntax is uh, for uh, pinup player. Uh, but if you need more of that syntax, you can find that uh, in the pup player documentation uh, and, and get further into that. Most of this you're not really going to need to adjust. The back glass, we're saying make it top left, full width, full height make it play, um, make it visible. Uh, audio, we're saying all the rest of the same things except for we don't want to see it. We're going to hide audio, we're going to hide music, um, and we're going to hide callouts because obviously there's nothing to see there. So this hide is just kind of a force. Most people are going to have that already set in their uh, pup settings for those channels, but just in case they don't, we're going to go ahead and hide it. Um, all right, so this is a sub here called chill out the music um, and so what chill out the music does is it just says for 2200 milliseconds so 2.2 seconds turn the music down and then after that turn it back up so you see here this is going to say for those music layers i need you to turn it down to volume 10 because you know i need you to chill out uh, so this is if I wanted to do a call out, say I was doing a call out and where you hear it, see here it's two, four and seven. Um, I think on this one we might not be using all those. Two is back glass, four is music, seven is audio. All those could be playing at that time. So that is correct um, because the back glass might be playing a video as well, which has audio. Um, so this is saying just turn those down to volume level 10 and then 2.2 seconds later, turn it back up to 99. And this is where maybe you don't want them at 99. You can adjust this here to say, I only want my audio to ever be at 70. Um, and this is just a sub you can run. We'll look at later when I actually run some calls on how I'm using that. Um, and this is just so you don't want your call out to be drowned out. Uh, you really want that call out to be heard. Obviously that's the point. Um, and so that's, that's just a little subroutine written there to say chill out the music. Ideally, it would know exactly how long that clip was. It would chill it out until the start, until the end. If someone could figure out how to code that and knows how to do that on a dynamic basis, please send me the code. I don't know how to do it personally, so I just said 2.2 seconds. We'll call that good. 
All right, so playlists. Um, so this is things that you would have seen over here. Uh, these are playlists in your Orbital folder. And this is just going ahead and um, adding those so that Pinup knows where I'm putting these things. So P Music is doing the audio attract. Um, so I and so I have some items in there. So what a clear is, and you'll see this, and we can go ahead and jump into that. A clear is a 500 milliseconds of silence. You can see it right there. So sometimes we will need to play something to stop something else. We might want to just clear that out. We can always use our clear.mp3 to just say, all right, chill it out. I, I, like I could do this via script. I could try to stop it, whatever else, but I might not just want to stop. I might want to clear the whole thing. Like so. Our clear.mp3 will run, be done, that channel will be cleared out. So that's why you'll see clear.mp3 in there. Um, that's to reset your segment if you wanted. So what we're doing is we're just doing our different uh, folders here. Now you can have as many folders as you want. If you go and check Stranger Things, Stranger Edition, you'll see there are a shitload of folders. Um, that's just how I like to structure things. You can do it all in one folder if you want. Don't, doesn't really matter. Um, the reason for multiple folders, uh, and we could talk through this a little, is that you have the option to randomly pull something from one folder. So let's say you had five different uh, jackpot videos. Well, you wouldn't want to put those in a big folder because you might want to just say randomly pull one of those. I don't care. I want it to be random for the player. I don't want them to be like, oh my God, that's the same jackpot call every time and I'm about to lose my mind. Um, maybe you want it different. I mean, if you think all the games out there, it'll say like something different on ball drain. It'll say something different. That, you know, so um, that's why we would register a lot of different folders is just to say, I want something fresh. Like, don't give me the same thing every time. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in a separate folder. So, uh, but you can register them all here. You just put the one and the zero. You're not going to need to do anything else. Set them all up. That's just going to say, what order do you want them in? We're going to do a straight order and then um, and put it in there. So again, you can look more into that syntax in the pinup um, documentation if you want. All right. So this is saying, if we have the top video, then we need to add that playlist too. And you can see we have that over here, but um, we're not for this right now, we're not gonna be using that. All right, so we need to set the background on the video DMD. So this is pretty cool. This is where we're doing, okay, what's that background for, for, uh, for this? I've just put that uh, like brushed metal, I think back there under, yeah, it's in our back glass. So we, uh, with the logo on it, right? So we have this um, brushed metal logo in the center. So that's where you can put just what your standard fallback is. And this could be a video. So if you wanted a looping video there that looks really cool, whatever, do it. Put it in there. You just change this to .mp4 or whatever you want. Um, and it'll loop that bad boy as uh, until the cows come home. And when you replace it with a video, you can always come back. Uh, it'll come back to it when that's done. The overlay.png, that's in our pub overlays. This is where... Um, you can lay out your full um, back glass. And I and we'll talk about how to lay this text over uh, here in a second, but you can make this any shape you want. I've, I've done this one as a starter uh, to give you uh, a place to go from, but uh, obviously you can get weird with it, do whatever you feel. Uh, and this is saying set that to the background, right? So. We've made this, make that our background. We always want to come back to this. This is always behind everything if we need it. So let's put it there. All right, now we need to get into what are our labels and what the hell is a label? And a label is going to be, um, in this case, our text that we're putting over the top. So what we're doing here is we're defining not only what all the labels are, but where they go. Um, and so you'll see here again, I've put the syntax for you. Um, it's a little hard to, to visualize mentally when you look at this, like, uh, how am I going to know 2381, all the rest of that stuff. Like, what you have to do is honestly adjust it, load it, adjust it, load it, adjust it, load it, until you get things where you want them. These are set up. 
to run for you, uh, and uh, and that's you know a starter. Uh, but obviously you'll want to change things. You'll see we brought in type font, number font. That was again from the top where we did those constructions uh, because I didn't want to have to write the fonts over and over again. So I just put it here. So if you want to change the type font, you just change it there. It changes it for all these spots, right? So that'll make it easy when you're sitting there noodling with stuff and going, you know what, I hate that font now. Um, you just change it in one place. You don't have to go retype it a billion times. Um, so these are all the different ones I'm calling. Uh, and then you have your size here, you have your color. So about the colors, um, you'll be like, I have no idea what that number means, uh, totally. Uh, in Pinup, when you download it, you will get, um, so let me jump over to that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let me see where I put that. So as part of Pinup, you will get a tool that allows you, that, that helps you to do that. I might actually not have it. Uh, on this computer, maybe it's in Stranger Things. Um, mm, 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 mm. I, have it, I have it in here somewhere. So much junk. Um, uh, hold on, guys. Um, hmm. Oh, that's not even. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where I put this. Uh, but there is a tool that comes with pinup that uh, allows you to select colors and then tells you what they are. So um, if uh, if you're looking for that, <laughs> like I am, and you can't find it, go back to Pinup. It has it, and then I'll give you the colors. Um, so sorry, I don't have that available, ready to go. I wasn't, did not plan correctly for that. Anyways, so that's what that is, that's color. Um, you use that tool uh, that David made, and it'll give you the color number there. All right, sub reset back glass. Um, what that does is, let's say for player two, pinup is not going to know that now it's player two's time and player two only has uh, this score and this other person has this score. So we need to have a routine to say, go reset for me. Um, I need to clear it and reload these things. So we're not reloading everything, obviously, like games played. Um, we, we do that at the start here in this one, but you know, we don't need to do that all the time. So, uh, this is just our reset. We can run this all the time and I could take games played out, but I'm running this at the start of the table load as well. So I'm just saying refresh these fields. I need some, some stuff in there, drop in this. So depending on your table, you'll probably want to reset more things. I run this at the start of every ball. So I just say, go get me uh, fresh data and reset the back glass and make sure that all those items are up to date for this player. All right, so here's a big hairy nasty stuff. Let's talk about what this, let's talk about what this is. All right, so title timer. Um, so what I have here is this is, this is what we're using for our that zoom in and out. Now, this is most likely out of date by the time you've watched this. But uh, what I'm doing here is I'm zooming text in. So that's that player one ball ready, or ball one or whatever. This zooms it in. So this is just a sequence to zoom that in and out. One thing of note here uh, is you'll see here I'm passing this essentially JSON data. Um, to update that item and we'll get more into this later but a nice thing about this is this allows you to be more precise because you can use say the size as 2.6 as opposed to just saying 2 or 3 which if you're like me when you get in your layout you're going to want to be that detailed so 
um, a lot of times you see here, size is 1.2. We can't do that up here. Don't try to put 1.2 here, it won't work. Do not put half values, uh, that'll break everything. You can only do your half values or percentage values if you update it via the JSON um, label updating. Um, and you'd be like, well, I don't understand that. Don't worry, we'll get to it. Um, so you don't really need to worry about this. P note, we'll see later. Um, and this is just what I'm using to allow you a sub to really easily put P note, what your message text is, um, and then that will pull everything in. So we'll get into that. Um, current player back glass is another thing that you can do if you wanted to update rather than the uh, reset back glass. You could do a current player back glass if you just wanted to reset current player values. I have that sub ready. Um, and that would be where you're doing things like this, uh, well, if you wanted to do score current player, you do it in there, um, and that would update for that current player. But um, the next is the P update scores. You don't need to worry about this. This is big and hairy. If sometime you wanted to get into this, feel free, do it, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty, uh, tricky because we're just saying if you're on current player one then do this to the others this is kind of dimming and bringing up the lights on the left row of scores for each player and it changes obviously depending on who's playing um and then in that it also sets the ball for the current player right so um so that's, that's how you're setting all your labels, uh, setting our folders, setting our labels. So let's get into how, um, how I actually play a video or something. You know, that's what, that's what I really want, right? Um, so if we look here, this is a clear movie. And again, clear movie means just clear um, the screen. We have, we have this video going on, um, and that's saying what channel, um, how much time? Let's go to a one where we're actually using one. Here we, here we go. High score. Uh, my kid is waking up. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, and I will be back once I, um, you know, get him to a good place. All right, and we're gonna attempt to do this with my kid watching soccer. Got the morning morning Liverpool match on. Um, all right, so. If we wanted to run a video, you'll see here we have our video high score, high score movie running there. Um, and pretty straightforward call. We're just saying on P back glass, go ahead and play that video. Get it going. Um, so that would say when that happens, I'm going to play that video. You see here P note, like we, like we put there, you have two lines. So you have a top line, bottom line. If you want to pop something up on your back glass, you just say P note, you got a high score, whatever you want that to be. Uh, and that will pop those two layers up on the, um, on the back glass. Uh, we can also, you see here, I have an audio call out to let them know you got a high score. Um, and we're just saying, use our P call outs channel. Uh, go ahead and, and put that up there. You got a high score, um, volume 100 and uh, get it going. And most of this stuff is going to actually be pretty straightforward once you guys get in there. Um, you can see here, uh, we have, we're, we're adjusting labels as well. So if we wanted, um, this, is, this is our rules that I put in the bottom. So I have a loop going through showing people what the rules of a table are, like on Stranger Things, Stranger Edition. And this just says, I've got a timer, so every 10 seconds or whatever, it, it goes to the next case here and then laps back around. Now I guess it, I have it set to a second. So at eight seconds, it goes there, 15 seconds, 24 seconds, 32. Um, and this just updates those notes. So you can just make a, a note uh, or uh, a label and then adjust it as you want to show people what you're looking for. So this is how I, you would update one of those, pretty straightforward. Um, not much, not much to know there. Uh, let's go look. Um, all right, so I think that's most of it. Um, what we're doing there um, for pinup. Let me see if there's any other. Um, 
reset new ball variables. So we see here, this is saying, um, this is important to go through, uh, is we have to set a loop. So you can see here, uh, I'm saying start playing P music. And I do that every time. And so if we look here, like it's saying play P music from this folder, I'm not gonna tell you what to play. So that'll get it to grab randomly and go ahead and play it. Uh, at volume 99, one just means play it. And this says, go ahead and set a loop. And this is the channel, which is four, which is our P music channel. And set that to loop play. Um, and so what I'm saying there is you could toss as many audio files as you want in your audio background. And this is gonna say the start of every new ball, go get me one, I don't care what it is, go get me one and play it. Um, you could also define that sequence if you wanted to. Um, I just like to be random so I can just toss like 30 in there and then just let it randomly pick one. Um, so that's, that's uh, pretty straightforward there. Not much, not much doing, but that's how you would set your background audio. We can see here that I have on game in it um, that we are doing um, updating scores. That'll make sure our scores are always correct for each ball. Um, rule reset back glass rules helper on if we wanted that rules helper. Um, we can go ahead and reset our back glass scene if we wanted to. Uh, I actually don't have that folder in here scene, so that wouldn't actually play. I'm not going to find it. Um, but those are just resetting the table for the first ball. Um, and this is saying player one, set it to player one, uh, adjust the notes if we wanted. Currently I'm just clearing those notes out saying put nothing there. Um, and back class is set to background one, which we already had at the top, but you can reset it here if you want. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so these are, um, this is our, is that our video track? No, that's, yeah, that is our, our track mode. So a track mode here, what you see is we have these high score clear outs and we're just setting those labels to zero. So if someone like just finished a game and they got a high score, we want to make sure when it goes to a track mode that it clears that out because, I mean, otherwise they're stuck on there. And audio clear, let's just clear that out. If we wanted to do specific music for this, you'll see we start it here, audio background rock which uh, I don't think I have audio background rock, I just have audio background, so you can change that to whatever. Um, and so you can set different notes here, you can set uh, videos to play, you can set a JPEG to play, we just have a JPEG on there, but you could change it to a video, this will loop through your tracked mode, um, and we set how long we want each attract mode to be on, right here, um, so that they're able to look at each one you can see it's just going through it based on seconds the first one is 47 seconds long because for me for stranger things stranger edition that's how long i had it um 13 seconds for the next 13 9 9 you can obviously add as many of those as you want um why i have it on the timer like this is that during a track mode someone can hit the flipper to advance to the next one because otherwise you're like stuck watching this when you just want to see high scores um you can flip through it. So you can add as many of these as you want. And again, these are just add some labels, play a video if you want, put up an image. So really whatever you're feeling, you can see here, video attract. All I would need to do if I wanted this to be a video, put in whatever the video file name is and it'll play and say that video is 20 seconds long. Well, this is case five. I would go down here to where it's intro position. Um, and that would be the last one. So I would go change this to whatever I want it to be, 9, 20, um, and then just loop back through it. So pretty easy stuff to change your attract mode there. Um, and I think that'll get you guys going. Um, you'll see a lot of this stuff through here, ball saves. And honestly, the best thing, uh, you can see here we're using this again. Um, if you've been uh, following along, I've got the P-Note gone because I didn't need it and um, because I put it in my graphic, but I could put the ball save P-Note back up. Again, that's what pops up the text. Uh, and then I have the 
uh, pinup player call here to do video ball saved, and then I'm defining nothing, which means it's a random call. I'll just give me one out of there. Video drain, doing the same thing. Just give me a random one because I don't want the same drain video. I don't want the same ball save video. It gets obnoxious. Um, I'm actually doing that on Leprechaun King, but oh well. Um, I have different callouts, but the video is the same. But anyways, you can do the same thing obviously with callouts. If I put audio callouts and I took this away right here, what I said, give me, you know, just do that. It's going to go grab me a random one. <clears throat> and you can see here I'm using that chill out the music. Um, so I'm saying call this thing, chill out the music, so that two, for two seconds it's going to drop the rest of the audio and just make my call out loud. Um, so I have that set to 100. Uh, so that pretty straightforward there. Um, I hope this has helped, guys. Uh, there's a lot in here. Also go grab, if you're ever curious, I'm like, I need something more in depth, go to Stranger Things, Stranger Edition. Uh, I know I've got that offline right now, but most likely you already have it, and if you don't ask around, I'm happy with people sharing it. Uh, I just have to have it offline for the current time being. Um, but you can grab the code there. You can also, you know, message me. I can hook you up with the code. But um, go look at the code examples there. That'll get you into doing this. A lot of it should be in here, but it might not all be in here. Uh, I've done some more fancy things on that. If you guys find that, like, hey, I really need help with this, um, you can also post, uh, ask me. I should be able to get you on the right track. Uh, I hope this has helped. Um, thank you to my son for uh, playing along. And, um, you know, let me know any questions you guys have. And, uh, and 